this is a lot of motion technologies are combating a jitter and drift, which as you guys know, jitter is when you're not moving, your, your cursor is still moving, and drift is, okay, I'm not moving, and this thing's just doing its own thing. I'm gonna toggle on the constant motion mode. You see here, so I move my hand and the cursor moves. Now watch what happens when I stop moving. No jitter, no grip. Once you calibrate this thing, it's ready to go. So those are, those are algorithms we custom develop in-house. And the scheme we have right now is you hold a finger and you move around. So another issue we had to overcome was when you're using a mouse, you're so used to, you know, you reach the edge of the mouse pad. It's not like Dilbert where you call down for a bigger mouse pad. You, you lift your mouse up and you move it. Um, so the thing with this that's really intuitive is when I reach the edge of my screen, I just let my finger go, reposition my hand, and you can kind of do the nice click and drag thing. It's very sensitive though, um, and adjustable by the user, so it's quite usable. <coughs> what amount for time, all right. Let's get some Google Sketch up. Now one area that we're quite interested in exploring more is 3D modeling and you know, animation, interacting with that. I'm gonna do a really simple Google SketchUp demo. Now typically, I would actually have the other glove set up to do my shortcuts, but for the purpose of this demo, I wanna show you guys how mouseable this actually is. So I'll uh, grab some of these boxes here. And uh, you can see very easy, simple mouse control. So I'm just playing around with stuff right now. But uh, we'd be very interested in if there's some graphic artists and 3D, you know, CAD type people in here, uh, talk about people for doing, you know, demos and helping work with this. But what we've created is a new interface platform, and it's a physical interface platform that we're getting a lot of interest in. Uh, one of the new things that's coming up on our radar is we're talking to some, some players in the, the active sports market where heads-up displays are starting to become more well used. Uh, a lot of people are starting to use head-mounted cameras. Very big market and they're looking for very uh, simple ways for these people to interact with things while they're on the fly. So I do have a gesture sensing version of the glove but I figured as this little bell has told me I would not have time to show you guys the gestures tonight. But you, you're seeing the motion, you're seeing the touch, and basically what we're trying to do is open a world of possibilities for, for developers and, and end users. So yeah, I'll wrap that up. Any questions? Yes, go ahead.